Yep, I got married. I'll get more into that later in the video. But welcome everyone to Whimsycraft episode 8. I've sort of been struggling to start this video so I just need to get on with it. But I'll show you a few things that's changed since the last episode. First one being, I've sort of done this hallway, I still need to add some moss to the floor. And I've also done this room down here. Don't know why I used an enderpearl there, I just felt like it. Um, I've done some stripe patterns on the wall. I wanted this room to feel a bit different to the ones up there because I want to add some redstone contraptions in this room. Um, I also maybe want to put my portal in here as well, but I want to have like a button that can click and it gives me a bunch of fireworks or another button that I can click that gives me a bunch of rockets. Wait, rockets and fireworks, same thing. I mean carrots. <laughs> I started work on this massive bridge over here. Um, I was recording a video of me making this, but it just wasn't turning out how I wanted it to, so I've scrapped that, but I'm going to continue working on it in this video. But first, I've got, I've got a massive urge to do some terraforming. This pretty open area, um, that's sort of connecting Mean World's base. We're going to have some buildings along here, as you can see. Um, we're sort of making something to cover the moss farm. I don't know if it'll stay. I think Will's wanting to change it. This was a group project between me, Will, Soggy, and LTP. Um, so it's a mix of everyone's styles. Um, it certainly is something. But yes, I've been collecting a bunch of resources to make a forest here. As you can see, I've got a bunch of different dirts and mud. I've also filled up a whole shulker box of azalea leaves. I'm planning on spreading a bunch of white tulips all throughout this forest as the main pop of color. All right, I'm pretty eager to get started on this, so I'm gonna start it right now. Hello everybody, I am Cake. Um, I realized that this video would probably be pretty short if I just build everything all at once and then show you it at the end. So I'm going to take a minute to talk about my thought process of how I've done this floor. So as you can see, it looks like the blocks are being placed pretty randomly from this angle. But if you go over here, it's like lines pretty much. Especially if you look at it from a bird's eye view, you can see that there's just tons of lines of things. The moss has been pre placed pretty randomly, so has the root of dirt. But everything else is um, lines going this direction or this direction. The floor is also going to have a lot of grass covering this. And the only spots that there won't be grass will be on top of the packed mud and also the spruce planks. But yeah, I'm going to continue building this forest, um, and the next thing you'll see will be the trees. I made a little forest over there. Your forest is amazing, by the way. Uh, it isn't as good as yours. <laughs> but I wanted to create the same feeling, just with a different look. So, you know when yeah. you're walking through a forest in real life? Wait, let me send you an image. This is what I based it off. It's an image my friend took yeah. in a forest in the US. You see that? Ah, spooky vibe. Mm, yeah. I wanted to recreate that feeling. Um, yeah. So can you turn your brightness like all the way down to moody? Um, I'm going to uh, expand. It's going to be double this, this, but I, I wanted to create the same feeling when you're walking through it. Mm. Do you think I've got that I, feeling? I think it would be way more like emphasized at night, but mm. Yeah, I, I like the use of bamboo. I would never consider using bamboo in a like non-bamboo setting, but it works. It adds a, a freshness, yeah. which I'm a big fan of. 
Um, mm -hmm. For sure, yeah, the spooky vibe is definitely there. Um, I feel like the the canopy density could be higher potentially, but okay, the pops of light are pretty as well. Mm -hmm. It depends. It depends I'm what thinking... you want to go for, because I feel like you could like really emphasize the spookiness if you made the grass taller and kind of like put like more like actual bushes and stuff, so it felt like really close to you. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas this has a bit more of an open feel, which I'm I'm certainly enjoying. But well, yeah. I'm gonna expand it this way a bit. It's gonna be double this because mm -hmm. this is pretty small yeah, right now. Yeah. But um, of course, like being able to see the the pretty flowers quite easily is uh, obviously. Uh, yeah. Like your big flower fields, being able to see that is uh, like obviously kind of contrasting the vibe a bit. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I've been experimenting with different ways to create biomes like over here is like sort of a red biome as you can see yeah. i've used a bunch of cherry bushes um yeah. poppies and nether wart um using the same trees as over there over there is pretty much the same one except white yeah i saw obviously i've seen these trees because they've been up a long time and uh, i really felt that they were like such a totally different type of tree and yet fitted your base so well. Uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, checking out my forest. Back. Yeah, thank you for showing me. <laughs> I'll expand yeah. it and it'll be better. And I'll try and raise the canopy a bit because I do agree mm. it is a bit low. All right, now I think it's about time that I show you the wedding. Wish you whenever you're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of two wonderful people, Lorikeet and William. Today is about love, the kind that makes life sweet as, as Lori would say, <laughs> and the kind that brings us all together to share in this special moment. As they stand before us, ready to begin their life together, Let's celebrate the love that unites them and the joy this moment brings. Laura, Keith, and William, love comes in many forms, <laughs> big gestures, small moments, and everything in between. You two have found a love that balances and strengthens each other. Laura, Keith, with your positivity, and William, with your steady heart, you are a perfect match. Are you guys ready to make your promises? Uh, slop. You guys may now read your vows. Uh, who first? Will or me? <laughs> <laughs> Will should go first. Let me start. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Today, for most people, is just a normal day. But for us, it's no normal day. It's a dance party. Yeah. Please laugh. Sweet as. Jokes aside. <laughs> so many, lo many loved ones have come here today s to celebrate something special we have together. So very unwilliam. I'll make some promises to you. I promise to keep sharing that certain gif with you that only we know. I promise to always what? add what? Heinz beans uh, to everything I eat. I promise to sometimes agree with you. And I'm most importantly, I promise 
to love you for the rest of my life. And William, your vows. <clears throat> Laurie, from the day I met you, I knew. that I wanted to be with you. <laughs> Seeing your beautiful face for the first time really made me feel a certain type of way. And like I said, I just knew I had to be with you. From the, the laughs that we've had, the laughs that we will have, and the future together that is ahead of us, I promise to you to love you and walk through every moment with you and you know please keep sending me that gift because it's beautiful whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it brings it brings me a lot of joy just like you wow yeah woohoo. all right Woo! Whoa. Oh! Uh, Lori, <clears throat> the ring, and place this ring on William's finger, and as you place it, remember that it's as sweet as the love you share. <laughs> My ring has been stolen. Oh, hey. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> And William, take this ring and place it on Lori's finger. And remember, it's as sweet as the love you share. <laughs> and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. William, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <Mwah>! <laughs> <laughs> wow thank you everybody uh we will keep the venue open for photos please proceed down to the reception where uh there are refreshments and entertainment yeah if that wasn't the most awkward thing you've seen today i don't know what could top it because to me <laughs> that was so awkward and like there was this moment where i said slop um, and my mic wasn't even on, and, uh, it was, uh, yeah, anyway, we're married, and we're not divorced yet, and we're not going to get divorced, um, no, we're not gonna get divorced, here's some clips from the after wedding party, <laughs> what am I listening to, what? <laughs> You have to dance. Oh, my bad. Wait, I know what song this is. I've just realized. <laughs> oh, no. Be careful where you dance, Spaghetti. I didn't was behind me. I was just shaking it like nobody was looking. <laughs> everybody was looking. Everybody was looking. Everybody was looking. For context, Spaghetti had a very revealing outfit. I'm covering up. <laughs> Hey, take your pants hey, off. I, no armor I have, at the wedding. I have minimal resources. I have minimal armor on, so I, your pants are low for me. <laughs> wow! 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 All right, so there's going to be some people wondering why I got married, because there wasn't any proposal or anything. Pretty much LTP wanted to film a, a bit, and in the bit he needed two people to get married. So me and Will, uh, the server king and queen, <laughs> which is also some lore that I'm, I'm missing, and I can't fully even remember why we're the king and queen. But um, yeah, me and Will got married, and the whole server turned up, and it was really good. Um, also, I finished the forest. You're watching it right now. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why we got married. Let's get back to Minecraft. All right, everyone. Halloween is coming around on the server, which means I need to get dressed for Halloween. Ah, I'm in the, I'm in the sun. I need to get in, inside. Um, yeah, I'm a vampire. <laughs>
And I'm not just any vampire. Do you recognize the shirt? Um, I'm not going to say who it is, what, what it's from, or like the style of clothes, but it's a certain vampire from a certain show. Um, that's all I'm going to say. But um, to celebrate Halloween, Ducky has a trick or treat event going on, and I want to participate. Um, I just got to figure out how to get to there without burning. <laughs> um, oh, I could probably just wear a hat. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about that. Here we go. So application is being closed today at the time of recording. Um, but I think he's extending it. But I need to reply. So how to apply? We put the name on the paper, enter into the dropper, sign up ends today. After the sign ups end, there will be an event to pick up your person. You'll be pranking. <laughs> more in the Discord. Okay. So it's more of a Secret Santa sort of thing. Um, where we're going to be given a random person to prank. Um, so I need to write down my name. And oh, I just realized I don't have levels. Alright, got plenty of levels now. Now just need to write down my name. Laurie. Do I write Laurie or Laurie? I'll just write Laurie Key. There we go. Plop it in the dropper. And bam. Cool. All right, so in the next video, you will find out who I will be pranking. The forest is not done because I still need to raise the canopy, but the effect that I was going for is done. Look at this. Now that I've doubled the size of the forest, you just get such a beautiful ambient feel when you're walking through it. It's even better when it's raining, which I'll probably take the thumbnail picture when it's raining. Um, I don't know if I want to wait for it to rain to finish filming this clip though. But yeah, do you feel immersed when you see me walking through this forest? Does it feel like a forest in real life? Because that's the feeling I was going for. I wanted to make this very immersive and beautiful. I think there's some other things I could do, like getting rid of these flowers from bone mealing. Um, I, I should have, I didn't, I missed that one from earlier. Um, and definitely raising the canopy. But I also wanted to keep a bit of light coming through. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to raise it. But I'll probably raise it in between episodes. But yes, this is the forest. And another thing I want to show you before I end this video. Is that, hold on, let me run over here. And let me fly. Here we go. I've made another mob farm under this mountain. It actually works really well. Hold on, let me turn off shaders. Um, there we go. Tons of zombies, creepers. This one actually seems to work a lot better than the other one. Um, I haven't really checked the drops since I made it. Um, and when I made it, it had really good drops. Oh yeah, look at all these drops. So much. We're getting redstone as well. That's so good. <laughs> um, but already a stock of gunpowder. That's pretty much the only thing I'm using from it. Um, but yeah, this is a another really good farm. And I made it on stream, by the way, so if you want to watch me do other things like this, or if you want to chat to me, um, join my stream. I stream sometimes inconsistently and sometimes consistently. You sort of just have to follow and wait for a notification. But yes, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. I hope you did enjoy. And look at that forest down there. <laughs> it's so good. I'm really happy with it. If you're interested in being more involved in the community, there's a Whimsycraft Discord that you can join. And um, yeah, we've got tons of people we chat every day in there. And it's tons of fun. But yes, I'll stop yapping. Bye-bye everyone, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.